Hello everyone. Good evening. So today we are going to learn another topic from Load Code Development. Okay, and the today's topic name is Branch Development from the App Studio. Okay, you can ask a question that I'm already using the branch. Okay, from the Dev Studio. Why it is required from the App Studio? Okay, so I'll explain you the reason. It, and it is very important that we should. If you're not doing it, then you start doing it from today. Okay, whenever you are modifying any rule from the App Studio. Enable the branch development from the App Studio and then only do the changes. I'll I'll give you some examples. Okay, that let's say you are if you're modifying anything like adding uh, like kind of if you're modifying the main navigations. Okay, where like we get in the Cosmos themes, then Pega modifies like multiple rules. Okay, and if you're not doing in a branch, then it can go to any unlock rule set. You might sometimes think that I have locked my applications rule set, but it can go to any rule set means. In your either in your applications or if you are using any other application in your application stack, and if any rule set is unlocked, it can go there. So, like if you use App Studio, you'll be better track. Okay, that what all rule Pega is modifying. Or sometimes if you are like using App Studio and creating rules, like let's if you are creating data models, or if you are creating UI, okay, which you might okay uh, that. What happens is that at that time, time if you're doing from the App Studio, Pega will create those rules in the case type class, okay. But maybe in future, okay, or your leads wants to move that rule to one layer up, okay, for a better usability. So if you do in a branch, okay, it can be tracked properly, okay. But if you do in a direct rule set, it is very difficult to track, okay. So that is where you should start doing that even the development from the App Studio using branch, okay. So I'll show you how we can enable that and then. How we can use that? So let's go to the Dev Studio. So if you see here, okay, um, we are in a Dev Studio, okay, and then my this two rule set is unlocked, okay. So even if it is unlocked, still from the Dev Studio, I can use the branch development. Let's say I'll say new case type. I'll add this branch, okay, and let's say I want to create. One second, I had created something just now, okay. So let's say I added a branch. Okay, now from the Dev Studio, or I'll to add two branches. Okay, so there is another branch called Portal Changes. Okay, so let's say I'm adding two branches. Okay, and here you can see that okay, the branch development is not enabled yet. Okay, branch development preferences. Basically, this is more from from for the App Studio. Now let's say if, if you are a developer, okay, then obviously you can do the branch. You can do the like you can select properly. You can create the rule in branch. So let's say I want to create a data transform. Okay, data transform test. Okay, or name is not required to be here. You can see that you are getting an options to select choose that branch. Okay, so you can either go with no branch or you can go to new case type or you can go to portal change. So even though these two rule set is unlocked, you are able to do the branch development. But this is not the case from the from the App Studio because what will happen here? You can see that I'll show you quickly. So here you have a zero 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 rule. Okay, I'll just quickly go ahead and lock this rule set. Okay. If I lock this rule set, okay, still I'll not be able to enable the branch development from the app. Okay, you can see that still this is not enabled. And what it is saying, branch preferences are not supported when your application stack con contains unlocked rule set. Please lock all rule set to enable branch development. So we cannot do that. Okay, and I'll quickly talk about the problem which I'm saying. So let's say. Okay, here in the user portal we can see the pulse. Okay, I want to remove that. Okay, so Pega is suggesting these changes we should do it from the App Studio. So I'll quickly go to channel, and then here I'll go to user portal. So here from here I can remove that. Now the question is, okay, as a citizen developer or a developer, okay, whoever is going to do this from the App Studio, okay, they might not knowing that what rule Pega will modify that. So let me quickly remove that. So I'm just thinking that if I'm modifying this one, okay, maybe I'm just doing this change, okay, in one rule set, okay. Let me log off and log in. I think some issue. I think just quickly. So if I'm doing from there, okay, I might not be knowing that what all rules Pega will modify to make the change, okay. So let's try and see that what all rule Pega is changing and where the change is going to happen, okay. So let me just uh, again uh, uh, recap. Okay, that what we have done. Okay, we have seen that we have a two branch. Okay, and from the app uh, from the Dev Studio, 
we can easily choose the branch okay where we want to develop okay and as of now we have not enabled the branch development preferences okay and we want to remove uh, the pulse from the um, portal okay so let's go to app studio let's go to channel let's go to user portal and remove pulse save oh it's complaining no unlocked rule set version found for this this is locked so idly the change should go here should not be any problem let me remove this also quickly and this is locked okay let me quickly try to modify again sometimes it complains but yeah if so basically if any rule set is unlocked okay the changes can go into that okay that is what basically i'm trying to communicate here okay let me quickly uh, un un unlock this one only let's see now at least if it is speaking and we are able to modify user portal remove this pulse save it okay so it looks like working now okay you don't know that as i was saying right okay so in this rule only it modified so already i had 30 rule okay now let's see that what happened so still the rule is 30 because i have done some changes but if you see with the recent changes okay you'll get to know that what all rule we have changed okay let me do it here last update so you can see that pega is modifying three rules okay but if you are like doing development for in a multiple days it will be very difficult to track okay that is where we can enable the branch preference okay branch development from the app studio and do these kind of a changes from the app studio so let's enable the branch development and try to add a new case type and also we have seen that we are doing this portal changes so it is going directly to this rule set so how we can do that in a separate uh, branch okay because let's say new case type you want to keep it separate and then portal changes you want to keep it separate okay so let's do that and that is what i have mentioned here that we are going to see two things uh, create new case type and update portal change okay so to enable that first i'll lock this two rule set So I just locked one, still we are not getting that option. Okay, so let me lock another one also and then we will quickly get that option. Now you can see that we are getting it and it's not that only you need to take care in this application. If, if you have any built-in applications and there also you can see that here, I have uh, another applications, okay, organization applications. So these things should be also locked otherwise it will not work so you need to make sure your entire rule set in your application stack is locked okay now we can enable that okay so we can see that and here it is asking me to create a branch okay so we can create a branch or we can select also so let's say i just want to create a, a branch okay home loan okay because i'm going to create a home loan case type so i'll just add okay and from here we can add also and submit it so now from there I submitted, if I refresh here, I should see that, okay, the home loan branch got added, okay. And you can see that the green dot also got added. Now let's go to Dev App Studio and try to add a new case type called home loan. So we'll go to case type and try to add a new case type. So we'll go to app studio and we'll quickly try to add a new case type called home loan okay and we'll see that where those rules are going so we'll say home loan and we're not going to select any advanced things okay we're not going to create data model we'll simply click next and add a new case type once we add a new case type okay we can simply quickly add some steps so create approve resolve just 
okay and save it so whenever we create a new case type okay by default okay and here also I'll, I'll tell you how that the branch development will help okay so whenever we create a new case type pega will create the class first and then case type rule it will create then one walk party root will uh, rule it will create and then also it will create few harness and data pages which you might not need it okay and you may want to clean up those things okay that is where if you do in a separate branch okay then your lead can easily review and remove those rules okay so let's review that uh, that branch so open in uh, open application in dev studio so let's open that application and see this branch that what all things we got so if you see here we got tons of rules okay we just added in one case type and you can see that so first we got a and the class which is fine with class needed but this home loan data page okay and home loan list so this we might not need it okay even though pega is creating and we need it this can be moved to work layer for better usability okay we don't need for each one okay i mean you can keep it also no harm but as i'm saying right that your lead can take a decision like you can see that section harness and other things also got created which might not need it not need it okay so if you do it in real rule set okay directly then the tracking will be difficult but from here the tracking is very easy okay so this is how we can add a case type okay from the app studio so we learn two things here one is the enabling branch development and the second thing is that how we can add a new case type from the app studio now we want to let's say as i explained in the beginning that from the dev studio we're getting a flexibility let's say if, if i'm adding another okay portal changes also and trying to create a rule we are getting a flexibility to choose the branch okay in which branch we want to do but from that is not there in the app studio we need to do the change here only so let's say we want to change this one okay and the portal changes we want to do in the portal changes branch okay so what i'll be doing i'm changing the branch okay and save it okay you can choose the application as well okay but we don't want here you can see that in the application stack i have two so if i want to choose that one that also we can do but fine we don't want to do for now and i'm changing the branch so that the portal changes i'll be doing in this one so this is the kind of one uh, kind of a i'll say that negative point okay that in the dev studio i mean i will not say negative point but not that much flexibility from the dev studio you are getting an options to choose but here you you need to select once and you need to do the development okay uh, like until unless you didn't finish that work for that one okay or you can like keep changing that is also you can do let's say new case like let's say you have a two story okay and both you want to do from the app studio you can keep switching okay so that is how you can do so let's change to portal changes okay and just for the safer side i'll log off and log in okay to make sure that everything is okay So now, okay, let's see that. It's, let's change it. This is not our application. Sorry for that. So we can see that green dot. Okay, that means a branch development is enabled. Okay, branch preference is enabled, and we can see from here that which branch we have ch ch selected. Okay, that portal change. Let's try to do the portal change. Okay, and let's see if it is going to which rule set. Okay, so which branch? So I selected that portal, and then here one more thing is left. That sometimes what happens that even though we added that new case type, it didn't came here. Okay so we need to add it manually okay but here what we want to learn here is that simply we want to add okay so i'll add pulse and teams and let's see in which uh, branch it is going so let me save and let's review the branch open in dev studio see so what happened is that quickly we changed that one, right? So if I go to user portal, we can see those pulse and team came and those changes came to this one. And then the home loan, whatever that case type we added, that came to this branch. So you can see that. So we can toggle between the branches, but from the dev studio, 
we are getting an option to toggle directly whenever we're creating a rule but from app studio once we complete one story maybe we need to toggle like this so that is one kind of a uh, i mean little less flexibility i can say okay there is no drawbacks so or kind of a negative things okay now let's see if you're getting that new uh, that uh, what we created right home loan why we are not getting an options to uh, create that okay so maybe we need to if you are case type so somehow it didn't got added here so i'll say home loan and i'll add it then we should start getting that option so sometimes it didn't get added uh, maybe or previously i had created with same name okay uh, because of that idly pega will add that okay so it should not be any problem so if you see here we started getting that options okay let me see if you're getting that this uh, case creation options home loan creation options from the app studio uh, sorry from the user portal or not okay so let me refresh this and see that so see we are not getting so if you're not getting what you need to do okay you need to go to app studio and then add this one and this is where i was saying that you might need to modify the portal changes okay and when we are doing these changes pega is adding multiple rules okay see here we are getting home loan options so maybe you need to add okay if pega is not doing by default and that is where these kind of changes you can do in a separate branch okay to track okay in a better way so now i did that okay so if we refresh we get an options from the user portal as well to create home loan case Still, it is not saved. Let's see that. Let me close and reopen that. Dev Studio Launch Portal. Yeah, see, we started getting okay to create home loan. So you can see that how we toggle okay. Uh, toggle between like a uh, two branches okay and we did it from the app studio but the flexibility what we are getting from the dev studio is that use like the developer can choose and you can see that right so here pega is modifying this through rule three rule okay you are modifying in one place but pega is changing through three rules okay so this is where i was saying that when we do the changes from the app studio it is very hard to understand that what all rule pega will modify and that is where it's better to use a branch okay so that you can track in a better way okay so now our class is done let's quickly reca recap that what we did it okay so first what we did is we saw that okay the developer is getting a flexibility okay to use multiple branches but if you want to do it from the app studio okay you need to enable the branch development to enable the branch development what you need to do is you need to make sure that each and every rule set is locked in your application stack not only in your application okay even if you're using any uh, built-in applications in that also you need to make sure the rule set is locked okay and then you can enable a branch development select a, a branch okay do the changes okay and when you feel that okay i'm done with the changes for this branch you can toggle the branch you can uh, select other branch submit it okay and then do the changes so in this way uh, you'll be like uh, able to manage your code okay in a better way from the app studio okay and and after that once you are like let's say done from the app studio if you want to review you can easily you can easily uh, check your branch okay what all rules got created review that and then with the help of leads you can merge and deploy to qa okay so that's it for today's sessions you please try and let me know if you're facing an issue i can definitely help with that okay so thank you thank you very much have a good day bye